All right, folks, it's a Thursday morning. What's that? We're getting a late start. It is 9.23. Overcast day. We were hoping it'd be overcast, keep the sun off of us. But we got the, the uh, top two up. We'll put that down when we get to the fishing area. Don's uh, putting the uh, fair ice chest in the truck. We're planning on filling up both of them today. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got the low rand on. Let me all the way down, buddy. Strategy today, we get a late start. Hopefully use the clouds to keep the sun off of <coughs> So far, so good, folks. Got a little cloud bank right here. It's holding that sun back, and it's nice and cool. Let's hope it stays that way. Watson Jimmy's gonna sling it in. What the fuck? Oh, it's a drum. The keeper drum. Huh? Is that a hunt? Yeah. Is that a hunt? Jimbo's on the board. Got him a nice little flounder there, folks. That's two fish in a short period of time, so maybe we might be in the right spot. A liar bird. Watching folks, he's, he's feeding pretty good. Pull them wings back. Die. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Feeding all along that shore, huh? Don just caught a flounder. It's kind of slow, folks, but we got we got high hopes and we got faith. This water is pouring in. The clouds are cooperating, so that strategy worked out. The sun's not beating down on us. But we're not doing too good with the fish. But you gotta go to know. All right, folks, when we fish with dead shrimp, that's what we do. We take the lure off and we use just the head. This one here happens to be a half ounce head. The water's moving so hard, that's what it's all about. But normally I'll hook them right here in that back, up to the back there. This one's kind of mangled up, so I had to hook it wherever I could. All right, boss. Quack, 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 quack. Just cut the horns off of it, man. Yeah, really. All right, folks. This little trout here saved me from getting skunked. Been out here since 10 o'clock. It's now 12.54, and that's the first trout to hit the boat. All right, folks, my fun for the day. Maybe. Still, still running. Still running. Come on back up, big boy. Last bag of zaps. Yeah. <laughs> Captain. 320, 328 guys. We're heading in. The tide never did stop. It's been pouring in all day. Never missed the lick. So we're just going to head right on in. Kiwi. Don taking care of us, folks. Get ready for debarkation. All my gear there, brought a rain suit, but didn't need it. It got real nasty looking, but it never did rain on us. And uh, our catch for the day is three trout, two flounders, one puppy drum, one summer ring, aka big ass drum, one croaker, one crab, four shells, and about eight catfish of various types. Not very productive, but uh, our strategy was to get a late start, catch the uh, noon change of tide, which never happened. It came in all day. And to use the uh, clouds to keep the sun off of us. That worked all the way up until about noon, and then the sun popped out. But, but the wind wasn't that bad. We had a good 18, 20 mile an hour wind. 
So anyway, good trip, a little action. This Jimmy got to get out the boat. And we're gonna put it up. Hello folks, <clears throat> this site, uh, Tides Fishing, had a uh, high tide at 1244. And the, the major bite was at 11 uh, p.m. <clears throat> When I went over to the Delacro, Delacro Tide Shorts and I looked at those, once again, uh, the first hit right there, they say at 1249, uh, 1.31 was high tide. And then it was supposed to start falling. Well, guess what? We were out there from 10 to about 4. <clears throat> and it never showed any signs of falling. It just was pouring in all day. I mean, all day pouring in. I bet you it went up a foot and a half, maybe more, in the time frame that we were out there. So I don't know how to read these side charts. Can anybody help me figure out what's going on? Why uh, they weren't even close today? <clears throat>